Hey guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again. The whole goof troop is here almost, so if you hear a lot of noise, it's just the way it works. <laughs> so this is my week 60 weigh-in body measurements. There will also be photos of the end, even of my little pregnant daughter here. I'll show you her befores and nails. And, uh, oh, I look terrible. And you probably just left the smudge across here. Mm. No, didn't leave anything. It's <laughs> definitely at least a clear smudge because it's gooey. <laughs> so anyway, did I say this is week 60? Week 60 of my keto diet, update, weigh in, review, all that good stuff. Um, my keto experience thus far, for those of you who do not know, has been wonderful. In less than a year, I lost 100 pounds. Um, I'm still losing. I slowed down a little bit because I was eating some stuff that I wasn't reading the ingredients in. Turns out broccoli and cheese, my green giant, stalls the hell out of me. So anyway, um, I've also gotten rid of type 2 diabetes and a full page of uh, other medical diseases that I was going to have the rest of my life, which I don't have any. I don't take any doctor prescribed medications now, and I used to take uh, at one time 11, then it was down to 7 because I refused to take some of them, and now I take none. All I take is magnesium and potassium and uh, um, B12 and D3 with K2. <laughs> um, so all vitamins. What? You look like you're going to say something this last. No, he, he can't. Oh, the baby kick? Yes, he kicked the heck out of me. My grandbaby kick in. Good boy, Anthony. Kick her ass. <laughs> So, um, it's been an interesting week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my diary entry, which does not have my weight on it, because I want y'all to see it. And I've got my husband's weight down here, too, so I'll go ahead and tell you he is. But for my keto diary, it was a 423 on keto. It's September 24th, 2018. Uh, food, yesterday we had a Philly cheesesteak and salad for breakfast, which is currently cooking over there in a pan. I can't wait. I'm hungry. It's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, cheeseburger salad and ketchup and mayonnaise with that. And my calories for yesterday were 1,359. Fat, 122 grams. Protein, 58 grams. Carbs, 10 grams. I was super full yesterday. Um, but there was more fat than protein, and that's how it's supposed to be on keto. It keeps you fuller. Um, my blood pressure, 148 over 97. Resting heartbeat, 92. Again, this might seem a little high, but I have a splitting sinus headache right now. My sinuses are killing me. It's fall. Things are changing. That's how it works for me. Um, my sleep yesterday, five hours. I took my vitamins and I was active. My husband's weigh-in, Keto Brian, week 11.4, so day four. Um, his start weight was 184.8, today 153.2. He is down 31.6 pounds in 11 weeks and four days. That's pretty remarkable. What do you think? My measurements were boss, y'all. Boss. <laughs> so I'm going to get up and show you my body first, and then I'll tell you about my measurements. Anything you see back here either belongs to my grandbaby or there's some trash bags that are going to storehouse for Jesus to be donated. So let me show you. And I will be including pictures of today's uh, body composition. <laughs> Uh, that's getting less roly poly. Y'all see this? Anytime I have a drop, this gets looser, and I've had a drop recently, just the last couple days. So, yeah, that loosens up. I know that I've lost a lot more because of my measurements, again, were balls. Let me go ahead and get to my week 60 weigh in, and I'll show y'all my little chart. So, keto week 60. <laughs> I started my journey at 311.8. Last week I was 208.4, this week 206, which is my lowest weight that I've seen on the scale so far. This is twice that I've seen it at a jump, I'll tell you about it in a second. So 2.4 pounds this week, 105.8 pounds down overall. 
I have lost nine and a half inches this month. Overall, 181 and a half inches off my body. That is 15.125 .125 feet of fat and flesh gone off my body just in the places I can measure. The flesh isn't gone yet. 15 feet. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, but. I'm I'm not, it's not gone that. yet. You said flesh, fat and flesh. The flesh is shrinking, okay? God. <laughs> the flesh isn't quite gone. And guys, just before I forget, don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. I have all kinds of beginner videos telling you how I do this completely free right here on my YouTube channel in playlists. I have uh, beginner videos, lessons videos, meals, eating food, all kinds of keto foods you can eat. And on my site, I have all kinds of lists and stuff. Uh, step by step guides. Everything's 100% free because I want to help you save your own life like I saved mine because I was dying, guys. I was flipping dying and now I'm not. Are you happy about that? Mm -hmm. I'm tired. It's okay. She's really pregnant. <laughs> really, really pregnant. Um, let me go and show you all my. Uh, will you go morning. stir my breakfast, baby? Uh, Thank you. you I've been up since 4 30 this morning, too. I'm sorry. I didn't go to sleep till about 4.30 this morning. So, um, I am tired. And my weigh-in weigh -in would have been better had I slept more, but I didn't. Use a fork to start around with so it breaks up the meat. Chili cheese steak. Here's my chart, guys. So last Monday, I was 207.4. Went up to 208.8 because of some... I don't know what that noise was. Because of some uh, allergy spray, I went up my nose. It's like a steroid spray. And then I shot up to 11. Scary, I know, right? But it happens all the time. Your weight fluctuates wildly on keto. Hello, son. I love you. <laughs> uh, it was starting to come back down a little bit on Thursday, even though I was still using the spray a little bit. It's 209.8. Dropped down to 209.2 for Friday and Saturday. And on Sunday, I was 207.6 again, so about here. But today, 206. Very, very happy with that. So, so thrilled. What did you say? It didn't pull apart. It didn't pull apart. I'll, I'll break it apart in a minute. Oh. It just tastes better when you break up the Philly cheese steak from the steak. Mmm. We're so ready for breakfast. Oh, I showed y'all my new shirt, but not exactly. Oh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that was my Keto Week 60 update weigh-in review and my Keto Diary. Day 423, I think it was. Yes, it was. Um... Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to put some clips in, some uh, before and afters of me, some stuff of my daughter, uh, so y'all can see her, her baby bump better. <laughs> and her brother's being a jerk. But that's what he does best, because he's brother. <laughs> it's a cute little son. And son. Has a cute border. Much love to see you. Check this out. Bye. Good morning, y'all. So this is my breakfast. Well, mine and hubby's breakfast. I'm going to put a side salad with it. It's really 2 p.m., so it's okay. But this is just the Philly cheesesteak. I've showed this to y'all before, but I just want to show you in case you didn't watch the food video. These are really just um, steakums. Uh, I used four servings. with I, I cooked this in butter because I'm out of coconut oil. And uh, I put the peppers and onions in it, put the lid on it, let it bake for a little, let it um, fry it for a little while. Then I added my cheese and let it cool. Uh, I can't wait to eat this. I'm so starving. It's so good. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Yeah, and also the other day, Sandy over at Sandy's Losing It showed off her pen and pencil collection, or uh, like she called it, a hoard and a obsession, and I thought I would show off mine because I was going through boxes deciding of more stuff to get rid of, and of course none of this can be gotten rid of because I just love it so much. So, <laughs> I'm just going to start in this little tub here. Of course I got crayons, plenty of crayons, plenty of crayons. These are washable ones, they're going to go in my grandson's box, but... Got uh, glass art paint pens, which I'll probably never use. And, of course, coloring books, because, you know, we need coloring books. <laughs> Even a Barbie one. It's got some cute pictures in it. A fantastic beast coloring book. A little tiny one. Kind of cute. Uh, yeah. I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I just like to 
color on occasion. Um, but here's some colored pencils, guys. Of course, I got some uh, of these. I'm going to put them in my grandson's box so you can have them with his uh, like little schoolwork stuff. But, you know, just here's some colored pencils and markers, more colored pencils, regular pencils and pens, and dry erase markers because y'all know I have my dry erase boards that I use for my show. Uh, I guess my show is what you would call it. Got some more paints. Even got body paint that glows I'll probably never use. But here's where it gets interesting. Now you see I have a bunch of colored pencils. Oh boy. <laughs> I have colored pencils. Wait, wait. Oh, I have colored pencils. I've given away a bunch of colored pencils. But not all of them. In fact, there is one more great big set of colored pencils that I don't know where I put. Huh. Anyway. Uh, when I was going through these boxes, Destiny has a couple pieces in there I thought I'd show you. One's Axel Rose and one's a Skull and Rose. She's really quite talented at drawing. My husband is too. He's done some Superman and stuff like that. And of course, we got my little fidget spinner pennies. Whoop. <laughs> I don't know why. I got them in my. I think that's a pencil holder, but quite honestly, it's just cool and I like clipper ships. So <laughs> but anyway, hold on. Let me see if I can't find that other set of uh, pencils. So, my daughter has them in her art supply box. Um, I had given them to her, so we're not going to dig. But it is about the size of the set. And I loaned them to her. Might as well give them to her. It's not like I need them, all things considered. Uh, I also had some uh, water paint color pencils, too, somewhere. But I don't know where they're at. But anyway, I just thought I'd show off this little bit of <laughs> the, the hoard. Um, I really need to weed this down. But I quite like them. And I do use them on occasion. Well, except for like the body paint. Maybe I should get rid of the body paint. Don't really need the acrylics. Maybe I'll give this to my daughter. Really don't need the glass uh, pens either. It's not like I'm ever going to use them. I don't drink. And I don't really have a lot of glass to write on. So anyway, just thought I would add this to it. Bye, y'all. Well, guys and dolls, that concludes yet another probably long-winded video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out all my other great videos. I don't know what I'm going to post here, so check back every day. Much love to you, and don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com. Bye, y'all.